Hey everybody, what's up? I'm Juliana and this is the Sprocket Girl channel and today we're gonna to be riding a new trail, well new for me, it's called Devil's Backbone just outside of Loveland here in Colorado and uh, there's another new thing happening today which is that I bought myself a new GoPro, it's the Hero 7 Black uh, with built-in stabilization so I'm very excited to show you guys the new footage of this trail today and if you guys like this channel give it a thumbs up, hit subscribe, like some of the videos, maybe leave a comment and all of that really helps me grow the channel and provide more good content for you. Alright, come along on our ride. I've been wanting to get a new GoPro for a while since the one that I've been using for the last almost two years is the Hero 3 Plus and there's some features it just didn't offer that I was looking for such as like 4k resolution and having a screen in the back to be able to see what I'm filming so I'm so excited to be riding with this new Hero 7 right now but I have to like fiddle around with the setup a little bit because with my Hero 3 I've been using a gimbal for stabilization and it worked pretty well I figured out a really good system of how to set it up and attach it to my chest mount and everything and now I kind of have to relearn all of that because right now I'm using the Hero 7 without a gimbal. Also today I'm riding a new trail called Devil's Backbone and you'll see soon why they call it Devil's Backbone. It's a pretty cool geological feature here. It's almost kind of Jurassic. There we go. There's the Devil's Backbone right in front of us. Pretty cool. So apparently this is a pretty exposed trail. There's not a lot of shade. So we got here super early around 7 o'clock. Had to drive about an hour to get here so that we can ride while it's still cool enough. A little climb here. So this trail is interesting, there's got a decent amount of techie features on these red rocks here and some of them are very doable. Also the nice thing is that the rocks are very sticky so you don't slip off too much. But other parts, very hard. I had to get off a couple times and walk my bike. really curious to see what this new GoPro footage looks like with my old one and the gimbal I had like the angles pretty dialed in and I really liked how it shot kind of right over my handlebars but with this one I'm not exactly sure what it looks like right now so I'll have to play with that a bit Also super curious about the built-in stabilization feature here with this GoPro. Heard lots of good things about it, but the question is, is it as good as my gimbal? I might have to do a video where I directly compare the two on the same ride. All right, let's try this climb. of pedal strikes on this trail.
All right, we're heading back. This is a out and back trail, so we're gonna go back the same way we came. And uh, looking forward to it, because there's some really fun parts that we did coming out here that I'm looking forward to doing on the way back. The sun's come out now, kind of beating down on us, so I'm glad we got out early. We're not here midday getting roasted on the trail. Still not quite where I'd like to be with my biking fitness levels. And uh, it's kind of hard to really get super fit if you only bike once a week like I've been doing. Lately, haven't had as much time to bike as last year for some reason. And uh, last year I was also really focused on preparing for my enduro race. So most of late spring and throughout the summer until the race in October or in August, I was riding two, three times a week, always preparing and training and I was in pretty good shape by the end of August. But this year, I have not been riding as much, so every single ride, I feel like I'm not particularly, you know, improving much on my fitness. So, I mean, I, I guess it's on me to go ride more often and to build up that stamina. But sometimes your life is just such that you can't ride as much as you would like to. So you gotta just do what you can. Also this year, as a lot of you probably know, I had a series of crashes, Not nothing terrible, just a small crash here and there and injured my thumb a couple weeks ago and uh, can kind of take a little, or make a little dent in your confidence too. Ah, oh, man, okay. Uh -huh. I don't know about that. I might have to push my bike over this part. Oh no. Alright. Oops, no shame in pushing. Rolling over everything. So to get back what I was saying earlier, sometimes it's easy for me to feel like this biking season hasn't been as satisfying as last year's. Just because I haven't ridden as much and I always feel very winded on every ride we go on. And uh, because of the couple of falls I took, my confidence took a little bit of a hit too, so it's easy to kind of feel like, you know, you're not doing very well, or, you know, you're not good at riding, everyone else is better. It's easy to say those kinds of things to yourself, but what I realized through all of that and catching myself saying those things to myself is that sort of losing sight of why I actually mountain bike, which is mainly to be outside and have fun, get some exercise. Oops, not always clean everything. So if you ever feel like that, if you ever feel like you're not riding as well as some other year or some other ride or whatever. You're maybe comparing yourself to 
yourself or other people, then my recommendation is to remind yourself why you actually love riding or love mountain biking and why you do it. It's off camber stuff I'm not used to. We don't ride a lot of trails with off camber sections like this. And it's once you're on it, it's not really that difficult. It's just more a mindset of, oh, I'm gonna pedal strike every time on the inside part. It also helps to go with a little bit of speed, oops. Yeah, ah, I cleaned that section. Woo, that felt great. There it is again, Devil's Backbone. 